Hi, welcome to the eGen Solutions YouTube channel. And today we're going to show you how to add someone to your YouTube channel so that they can help manage it or upload or whatever it is that you want them to do. And as always, if you're strapped for time, although this one's going to be pretty quick, if you're strapped for time, you can look at the description below and you can get to the chapters to go to the parts that you need to read most. All right, let's get over to the desktop. <laughs> Okay, the first thing you want to do is log into your Gmail account or your business account, whichever account you know is associated with your YouTube channel. Now that could be either the one you know or the one you think. So first things first, log into an email account. If you're in a Gmail account, as I am here, you're going to simply go up to the top right and you're going to come over here to this cute little picture and next to it, you're going to see uh, the squares that say Google Apps. Select that and click YouTube. Once you either go to YouTube or you select that app as I did previously, you're going to come and you're going to see probably a screen like this. Again, go up to the top, select the menu and scroll all the way down to YouTube Studio. Click that and that's going to take you in the back end. In the back end, you're going to go all the way to the left hand side, scroll all the way down on that menu to the word settings. Click that and now this box will open. Okay, so once you're in the back end and this bo box pops up, you're going to see your permissions and you're going to go to that, select it. And you're going to see everyone they've already given permission to or of course, we're going to invite someone new. So you're going to select this little button here that says invite and then this box is going to pop up. This is where you're going to put the email of the person that you want to invite. You put that in here and then the access you're going to want to select. Now there's different types of access that you can allow. A can or manager can basically do everything on the account and including deleting content. So make sure you got you have your access and they can also manage permissions. And then as you go through here, you can see all the different types of access, read those over, think about your business, think about who you're giving access to and select the best one. Okay. So when you are done, select, and then you're going to hit save. Once you hit save, that email goes out to them at the email address that you selected. And then they have the choice to accept that. And now they are manager of your account. How easy is that? All right. Now the last part of this, if you're done, you're, you're happy. I'll see you in the next video. However, let's say you don't know what email that is associated with your account. Well, I hate to tell you this, it's gonna be a little bit of research. Basically, what I tell my clients is to open up all the emails that you think you have and go to YouTube. When you go to YouTube, you're going to have, let me show you the screen real quick. You're gonna go to YouTube and you're gonna have a little button like this, you're going to have to go through each email and see if you have access by clicking YouTube studio to see if you can get into the back end. I know it's a little tedious, but once you find it, that's a good thing. Write it down. Don't forget. And that is how you're going to have to search and figure out which email is in there. The other way is that I always tell clients to go look in their emails for notifications. If you're getting notifications from YouTube, chances are that account is somehow linked to your YouTube channel. All right. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. And of course, if you're a subscriber, thank you so much. I will see you again in the next video. Oh,